If you define young as age 40 and under, there are about 11,000 women age 40 and under diagnosed with breast cancer every year in the U.S. alone. Young women are more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer that is more aggressive. Their disease is more likely to be of the subtypes of breast cancer because breast cancer isn't one disease. The ones that are more aggressive and tend to be what we call a greater stage. That is, they're more likely to have bigger tumors and more likely to have lymph node involvement at diagnosis than older women. And part of that's because young women aren't typically being screened, especially women under 40. Mammograms are good, but they don't work very well in everybody. And particularly in younger women, they're not even recommended because they don't seem to add enough value to make it worth it. And so for young women, they're much more likely to present with more advanced stage breast cancer that's more aggressive and therefore needs to be treated more aggressively. And you can see how that would be difficult because they're at a place in their lives where they're not expecting cancer. I mean, nobody's expecting cancer, but at least when women are aging, they're more likely to know someone who had cancer. They may have a friend who had breast cancer, and so it's not quite as far into them as a, a very young person who's in the beginning of her adult life, and then all of a sudden, bam, she'll get hit with breast cancer. And so we do a lot, both from a research standpoint, as well as from a clinical standpoint, to try and support them better through and beyond cancer treatment.